Hello and welcome to Explore the Velspheres Meet the Crew series. Uh, I am DM Dan and I'm joined today with uh, the beautiful Nate. Hi Nate, how you doing? Hi, I'm very good, how are you? I am pretty good, I'm pretty good. Uh, I'm extremely excited to hear more about this character of yours, uh, this Dragon Scent uh, slide. Um, so yeah, same as for everyone else. Um, please give us a quick introduction to Cavern. Yeah, so much like I'm pretty sure how you do all your character creations with people who join the podcast or join the channel. Yeah, uh, you have this conversation over cocktails in Edinburgh, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, That's so cool. more about Cavern. So Cavern, um, obviously, as you say, is a dragon scent. Yeah. Um, from what I believe about the lineage, they are very rare, sort of relatively. Like it's how you described it to me is that um, people know of dragon scents, like how people know about anyone with albinism or something like that. Um, but very rarely someone will actually know them personally. Um, dragon scents are the reason why they are called dragon scent is because they are believed they are brought by the gods. Um, so they are bought from mm. um and so cavern didn't actually it wasn't actually born in alicia he was born in a small town outside of alicia called uh paravilia sure uh he was born into a large luravar family um who never made him feel other never made him feel like an outsider they they gave him about as much love um and felt him as much of a blessing uh to the rest of his siblings um but one of the things that is very much uh, mostly within alicia but also in within other big cities as well in the in the world of elsewhere uh is that dragon scent children are usually sought after to join the churches to be you know to be sort of groomed in a way to become paladins or clerics within the churches of the dragons yeah. um and they will promise the families that they're born into uh sort of blessings of of knowledge power blessings you know blessings on their crops or their families or so whatever so um but the the dragon center usually quite young uh when they're brought in but cavern wasn't cavern was relatively much older he was probably in his mid-teens uh sort of uh, as a human age sort of 14 15 when he was brought into the into the church uh most likely not the church of Aya, probably one of the smaller churches within the divine uh sort of area yep. um and he moved to the city of alicia to sort of seek his to seek his knowledge basically to to be taken into a, a private education uh, all paid for by the church as long as he devoted himself to the church um it's not unknown for sort of young people within the area so very much like how in the real world young people will go to university in big cities to sort of you know yeah. kind of find their own identities in their lives it's not unknown for younger people within sort of smaller towns to go to Alicia and this is obviously pre-bubble yeah. um to sort of find their fame and fortune um and so he wasn't the only one who went along he also had two siblings who went along with him to sort of keep him company and them not being dragon since they were lure of our yeah. uh, lineage um as we mentioned in the character creation uh his rival Dorothea was actually his mentor in okay. uh learning about the divine dragons um, who found him quite furious, uh, f quite frustrating because he wasn't interested in learning about divine dragons, about the church. He wanted to know about this new city that he had come to be a part of. He wanted to know about everything about it. He wanted to know about the people that lived there. He wanted to know about, you know, different, different lineages. He wanted to know about different you know classes of people he wanted to know about the the arcane magic that was possibly there as well and he wanted to find out how he can get his dirty little mitts into everything to get the sort of things that he wanted um and his his siblings who were also there with him very much enjoyed this as well but they 
you know they tried to push him they were saying like look this is bringing good blessings to our family please take this seriously but he just wasn't um by the time the the great war started happening um he started noticing the fact that the more arcane gods uh their their shrines their temples they were actually getting you know uh looted burnt down yeah um uh, until the point where he actually found out that his siblings were a part of this, that they'd been brainwashed by um, by the Divine Church and by Dorothea as well to sort of do this. Yeah. Um, he tried to plea to say, can you not do this? My family are not violent. My family don't do this. Um, to Dorothea not paying attention, saying, no, this is the Divine Cause. Um, and she was one of the ones who was forcing him to go into the Great War to enroll, to fight. Um, but by the time he was actually meant to leave Alicia, um, he thought about it. It was against him. He didn't want to leave the city that he loved. He didn't want to leave the city that he'd become very much a part of. Um, but by the time he did decide to leave, and it was not actually to leave to join the war, but it was to leave to actually go and join his his family again to ask for their advice that's when the bubble yeah. happened um and much like his rival his mentor who a hundred percent believes that the bubble happened because of uh aya and and aya has saved the city yeah. uh cavern a hundred percent believes that that is not the case because if it was why wasn't his family saved why wasn't his siblings saved um, and so he, in his every might, wants to go against the church, but also have fun at the same time with it. Sure. Okay. So, yeah, just like a, I guess, almost like a wrong place, wrong time mm. kind of thing when uh, when the eschaton happened and elsewhere got ripped away. Very interesting. Yeah, so it'd be good to see. Well, I guess he's had two years to explore yeah. the city and the, the people but perhaps not in a manner he expected to um so in terms of uh like gavin as a character was there anything that you drew on for inspiration or uh were there any kind of uh, were there any kind of particular design choices that you like absolutely knew had to go through like what well, yeah where, where's the where did the idea of cavern come from i think it was mostly due to the fact that um, so kind of in personal personal world life like characters that I've played in RPGs have been more sort of caring more sort of wise mm. characters um, I've never played anyone who's been more charismatic and has basically wanted to be like a lift like a bit of a charlatan um, who was a bit of a little bit of a wrong and but in a just a scallywag sort of way sure. um i did also want to play someone um who was a little bit of a sugar baby where he can be <laughs> um no matter the gender it's all good with him yeah um so yeah it was mostly wanting to play sort of like a like the slide characteristics i've never played before as in a character and i thought this would be a nice challenge to play something new like that so no real sort of inspirations that i've really pulled from um i'm pretty sure there's lots of different characters who sort of use you know their their body and their charm to sort of get the things that they want but i think it just makes it extra interesting the fact that he is a dragon scent yeah and there are going to people who don't like dragon scents but also see dragon scents as like this religious blessing um that he can fully take advantage of amazing amazing okay so um what has cavern's biggest brag been since the eschaton since the bubbling since the bubbling i like to think that his biggest brag is the fact that he was he was on a heist mm -hmm. there were two other pe there were two other groups that were on this heist as well uh, who wanted this particular item and he got them fighting because he'd probably slept with both of their leaders <laughs> um and he got them fighting because of that and because they were too busy fighting about that Probably 
just who was the better at it or who deserved it more uh that he was able to get away with the item that they yeah. were they were fighting for amazing okay yeah that sounds like uh if, if that's caverns sort of like core central then yeah i suspect there's going to be a lot of hijinks um going forward amazing well i'm very much looking forward to seeing cavern uh, in action um and uh, if you like what you said like what you heard make sure to hit the like button um and comment down below uh on your opinions on cavern and what sort of things you think he's gonna get up to uh and to see him uh dirtying the streets of alicia uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications of when we uh, release new content uh campaign two is due to start very soon and I wouldn't thank you nate thank for, you for running through cavern uh thank you for watching see you next time bye, bye.